you must be wondering at the Eastman color skull cap I am wearing. Okay, it has been bought from here. Well, as you can see, it is being written Hosto Shilpo Mela 2018. That is to say, it is a handicraft fair that takes place every year in this place. This year, it is being taken place a bit early and uh, it is somehow juxtaposed with two more, uh, two major festivals of this town that is one the Diwa uh, Diwali and the other Jagadhatri Puja which is the main festival of this city. So that is why the rush in this fair is a bit on the low ebb but still it's a good fair people throng here for buying some handicraft things, uh, exquisite handmade objects like stools, uh, sharis and ethnic clothes and some uh, Arden jewelries uh, or the kind of things. Yesterday my wife came here to buy some handmade jewelries matching with her sari and I came here to have some unique opportunities of some good street and people photo why i came to this place because uh, this place is actually a favorite among the photographers of this city to come and have some street and people photo because when you come here people do not object uh, for clicking their photos they are somehow wrapped in their walks so you can get some candid shots uh, and that's why uh, you will find people hanging DSLRs on their neck and walking about uh, in this fair clicking with their mind's content but I came here yesterday having an idea in my mind that I will not shoot things which are very cliche very common and I thought I challenged myself with the idea that I will uh, shot something very unique and uh, for that I may have some uh, less number of photographs but what I will shot I will try to keep them very unique at least uh, to me maybe ideas actually they are not unique in the postmodern concept because uh, your idea uh, may very well be wafting about in somebody else's mind uh, but still uh, to me it is unique uh, because I haven't seen it anywhere uh, for that I uh, took my 24 millimeter lens and my 50 millimeter lens both are prime lenses and I came here I was looking for some uh, unique stories to tell some kinds of uh, interests uh, which will strike me and that's why I was not uh, clicking like a photo sniper uh, I was a slow but steady in my shoot. In this image, I tried to juxtapose the similarity between the doll and the man and I think the similarity was remarkable. It suddenly caught my eye and all I tried, tried to keep the face of the doll and the face of the man in focus, which was really uh, tough to do because there were clusters of faces uh, moving around and there were so many dolls uh, which also had their faces surrounding the man so I took the picture I waited for the man to look into my lens and then I clicked it and then in the post-production I had to play with the focus adjustments which I do not do very often uh, and I also cropped the picture in order to make the spectator focus really onto the gauge of the man and that of the doll and doing two of the things of my dislike one is cropping and another is uh, playing with the focus elements fortunately this time helped me execute my thoughts on this image in this picture you can see a woman a woman seller in the handicraft fair she was yawning in between uh, her sale of the products and I asked about her permission and she gladly accepted 
of me taking her pictures and I tried to catch different moods of hers while she was uh, waiting for the customers. I think the picture truly captures the boredom, the expectancy of the customers in the fear of a seller. What I like about this picture is the mood of the man. He was really content after buying these two wooden flower vests and he was returning with, a, with an interesting cap on his head and uh, more interesting uh, orange beards on his face. He was really a very genial man but uh, in this time I did not ask about his permission. I uh, took the picture in his unconsciousness. I actually was focusing here and there while keeping the focus intact on him uh, which he could not understand. So there was a little bit of fun in clicking this picture and at the same time it was my favorite, I call this the homecoming in the fair. I will not tell you what picture is this, I would like to invite you into a guessing game. Try to guess what is this picture and if you can guess let me know in the comments and then I will tell you what this picture is about. These are just some random pictures. In these I did not uh, try hard to find some compositions. I just tried to play with the focus and the out of focus elements I with my 50mm one point lens which is which works like a magic in uh, throwing the background out of focus. So I just tried to play with the bokeh elements and have some fun. Well, apart from those shots, uh, I will also try to include some shots of some exclusive shots of Jagadhatri Puja. If you can hear some music is audible in the distance, uh, that is actually something uh, trickling in of the festive mood. Uh, Jagadhatri Puja, let me tell you <coughs> that it is the biggest festival of this particular city. People try to avoid Durga Puja, which is a worldwide biggest festival for the Bengalis. They shun this uh, festival to uh, save some energy for this particular festival in this city. Uh, so, again, uh, uh, people now have smartphones, uh, and the cameras of the smartphones are really very smart to capture beautiful pictures. And uh, when you uh, open the wall of the Facebook, uh, it is or Instagram, it is uh, cluttered with uh, the shots, the actually the snapshots of uh, the pujas right now. So, again, in uh, shooting the shots of this festival, I will try to be unique, uh, uh, and that's why I'm taking uh, my camera with me and try to get some unique perspectives of the festive mood of the crowd and the DT maybe and some people let's see what I can get zulm ki dam lene pe majboor hai hum ek zara aur sitam sehle tadap le ro le apne azdad ki miras hai mazoor hai so 
those were the shots tell me how you like them by commenting below and if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and also please feel free if you do not like the video to hit the dislike button too do whatever you want to do and apologies uh, for delay in uploading videos for the last couple of weeks i was not in a good position or uh, mental situation to uh, organize things anyway i will uh, try to catch up in the consequent weeks to come this is pratyumna from practice photography out